Good morning from my shop in Walla Walla. It snowed a little bit this morning, but it didn't stick. It looks like the sun's coming out. We're going to have a great day. I got a good cup of coffee, and I want to show you a few things on this old milling machine. Set that down over here. Okay, I, I'm still working on this electrical compartment over here. And it's a pretty big mess. But I'm getting it clean little by little. And uh, over here, I've got some of the switch contacts out right here. And everything's like coated. And this doesn't really scratch off by buffing it off. But all the contacts and everything in there is coated with this coolant or whatever got in there over the years when it sat. Now, what I'm going to do here, I want to point out uh, some differences. Um, um, maybe you don't know about uh, a horizontal milling machine. Um, this is this is a brown and sharp milling machine, and it's uh, it's an industrial piece of equipment made back in the 1940s. It would cost probably a, around eighty thousand dollars in today's money. And one of the things that they made sure of with the machine is uh, that everything's true. And it, this machine came with this dividing head, and it's guided on the table by uh, keys in the base, so that so the table slots are true with the machine. And some people, I don't, I don't know, aren't used to uh, uh, true table slots, but I'm not used to machines that don't have true table slots. So I put it, uh, I put a dial indicator on the table slot here, and let, let's let's run it up to uh, the dividing head. It'll bounce a little bit because there's a little bit of rust still in there. Okay, here we go. Let's run it and see how, see how true that runs. It's not getting very far off zero, is it? Mm -hmm. Yep, hit a bump. We're gonna hit burrs and bumps. But you, as you can see, that the table slots are true with this machine. I have yet to totally clean those slots out, but I've run this thing more than a foot, almost two feet probably, right up to the dividing head. And you can see that the table slots are true to the machine. And as they should be, you know, you put the dividing head on here, you expect that to run true, and it does. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I, and I get to use, uh, I'm working on the table slots, and one of the things that happened to this machine, it hasn't had a whole lot of use, it's got a few nicks in the tables and stuff, but what happens when machines don't get used, people throw junk on top of them over the years. And there's just all kinds of nicks here. And I've made, I've made that really nice scraper off my um, how to braze uh, or, or me bracing carbide onto steel. Maybe that's not how to do it, but it's how I do it. But I come up with this really nice tool and um, it works in those table slots, see? And I can scrape, find those burrs, see? And I can feel them. There's one there, and I just keep going along and finding them. Then I follow the scraper with a stone. That's like a hard Arkansas. And I have kerosene on the table here. It kind of helps, and then I just stone it a little bit. You can find those burrs. Now, on the top here, I'm working the top. So I'm just taking that scraper and just going along. And see, I found one right there. See, I'll knock that loose from a couple directions. Now I'll come in with this stone. And I like to do kind of a figure eight. It's an old time method. Maybe you can see right there, it's raising that edge. That edge is a little shiny. So I'll come back over it, right? knock it down. Oh, that's it, see? Now that bird's gone. And I just keep going along. It takes time. It'll probably take me 
oh, two or three hours to completely go over this table, the slots and all that, the sides. Okay, but I've checked the slots and they're true. The edges of the table is true with the machine. Um, they, they made true machines back then. You know, this uh, real machine tools. This is not some import tabletop thing. This thing's a real machine. And it's got a lot of power to it too. And uh, I like, you know, this type of machinery myself. Um, I, it's uh, I, it, it, a hobby machine, yeah, yeah. But it's, it, but it's a, a serious industrial machine too, this, this old equipment. And uh, I can see, People being really concerned about the table slots not being true on a worn out machine, but this machine's not worn out. So um, I can easily uh, true things up with the device I've shown up there, that real quick. This device here is made by Brown and Sharp. I showed this before, it has the pins and it grabs the slots, see? And you can put this indicators any way you want it. And I true, you can uh, true work in here. Uh, you can true your spindle if you want to. Um, it, it's a lot more convenient than uh, racking that table back and forth like you have to do on your bridge board. <laughs> oh my goodness. How much time we got left here? Well, quite got a bit of time left, but um, yeah, this is um, how it is with these machines. The table slots are true with the machines on an on a old horizontal mill, if the mill's in reasonable condition. And uh, the uh, gen bore over here, the, the table slots on it are absolutely true. You know, probably, probably better than 80 millionths true. So it, it's all relative, and uh, this this machine here is turning out to be a lot better than I expected. And uh, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of these machines showing up, and I expect more of them are going to be pulled off these Navy ships that are up in Bremerton and down in uh, California in these Navy yards. I, I think finally, uh, some of that stuff's filtering out, and uh, it, it does every now and then up here, and uh, the machines are in excellent condition, and they're usually currently on tracker, and uh, just great machines. So this stuff's out there, and uh, the... Uh, it, it has kind of a limited use in, in today's environment. Uh, I could make a lot more money with a Bridgeport machine than this. But this is just really a great machine for uh, my um, hobby adventures and fixing old antiques and stuff like that. It's just absolutely a perfect thing to put a little tractor part on, don't you think? Okay, well, I'm going to call it good today, and uh, I, I got more to do. I'll make more videos, and uh, I still got the adapters and stuff to make for this, and just a lot of work to do on this machine, and uh, I'm, I'm glad you could uh, come along. So you have a good day.